In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a SharePoint team site for collaboration. Now, the way we do that is we need to navigate to the SharePoint homepage, and we can do that by selecting the SharePoint tile from the Office 365 homepage. Now, we'll need appropriate rights to go in and create uh, new sites. If we have those rights, you'll see we have an option here at the top to create a site. So we select that and we now get the option to create either a team site or a communication site. In this case, because we need collaboration for a group of people, we're going to select the team site option. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, give our team site a name, and you'll see that once we do that, we get the option now to uh, create a group email address, which we can edit. We also get the site address, and down the bottom we can determine the privacy whether the group is public meaning that people can access it and view it potentially or it's private where they require uh, an invitation to get access to so once we've got that we go next we can also now go in here and specify whether we need additional owners so owners of a team site have full rights throughout the structure and we can also specify members so members have the ability to read write and create documents but typically not work in an admin capability so now that i've made those uh, selections if i need to i can then go finish and then what it's going to do it's going to go out and build that uh, sharepoint site for me and take me to it immediately so now i can start working on it so you'll see i've got my standard sharepoint site here with the name that i selected and i have my document library and my pages and all the normal stuff here i get with a sharepoint site so now the group of people who are part of this can now start working together using this sharepoint team site